In the night of August 17, 1999, an earthquake devastated Izmit in northwestern Turkey. Around 17,000 people were killed. A Swiss rescue team reached the area 15 hours after the event. Among them was Elias Kalt with his golden retriever Colin. Colin's trained nose helped find two survivors, two small children trapped under tons of concrete rubble. 62 hours after the earthquake, a miraculous rescue. A four-year-old girl and her seven-year-old brother were pulled from the rubble unhurt. Ten years after the terrible earthquake, Swiss TV took the dog handler back to Turkey to film a highly emotional meeting with the two young people he and his dog had saved in 1999. Unfortunately, in the vast majority of cases, dogs don't find survivors, just bodies. To become a rescue dog, the animal needs lots and lots of practice. Their handlers, to recreate conditions similar to those of a natural disaster, take the animals to demolition sites to train. Linda Hornisberger is here to lead a training session. As soon as there's an earthquake, uh, the Swiss check how, how badly the area could be damaged. If they have the impression that help is needed, they will immediately then try and get in contact with the country's government and they offer help. First, the team looks for a place where they can hide someone. To motivate dogs to find people, they have to turn the task into something fun, a game. So, for example, they put pieces of sausage inside a small stuffed animal. Before letting the dog off the leash, its owner sprays some powder in the air to establish the wind direction. Being a beginner, this dog is given an easy way in, through the main structure. More advanced dogs have to search from above the huge pile of rubble. Normally we don't go uh, beyond 20 minutes. We have three dogs in a, in a team. So you have one dog going for a maximum of about 20 minutes, then the second dog goes in for 20 minutes and the third, so you can cover sort of an hour. The reason for having the three dogs is that the first dog will work and if we are lucky, find a uh, human scent to indicate, as we've seen these dogs indicating. And then we have the second dog come in to confirm. Because if you're going to send in the rescue, they may be working for 48, 72 hours, sort of. You want to be really sure the dog's really indicating on live scent. The last time we were on call out was in Japan. And here we were specifically asked only to send search dogs. We were just doing the search part and the Japanese had firefighters who were doing the rescue part. You have to see the reality in this situation on a tsunami area. You may get some people that survive just at the very edge. But if someone has really been trapped in a tsunami area and washed up by the sea, then Sadly enough, these people will be dead. By the time we got there in the tsunami area, we were locating dead people. <laughs> 